Ooh, spooky. Let's make it pop. It's me, Matthew Reinhardt, and we're going to make our very own monster pop. This is a make your own monster. You can design your own creature to pop up and scare anyone you give this to. So let's get started. First, you're going to need to download the templates um, for this pop up, and you're going to, you're just going to click on the link below and it'll download onto your computer, and then you can print it out um, onto cardstock, whatever color you want. Once you've printed out the templates, you're going to see that there's a black solid line. That's where we're going to cut. And then there's a, a black dotted line. And that's where we're going to score. And to score the dotted line, what we're going to use is a, a ruler and a, a really big paper clip. And we're going to line up the ruler just along every one of those black dotted lines. And we're going to press the edge of the paper clip along that dotted line there. And that's going to, what we're doing is we're actually making it really easy for the paper to fold wherever there is a dotted black line. So let's do that. Oh, by the way, these are not my ghoulish hands. These, these hands are much nicer than mine. This is Kirsten. She's given me um, her two hands to help me out um, making this really cool make your own pop-up monster. Next, after we've scored all those dotted lines, we're going to cut out all the pieces. And we're just going to follow with a pair of scissors along all those solid black lines. So just take your time, you know, and when you're cutting, you can always move the paper rather than moving your scissors because, you know, it, it, it's hard sometimes when you turn your hands to try to accommodate it. Why don't you move the paper and it'll be a lot easier to cut out all those different pieces. Now, there's, you're going to see that there's a slot that's in the center of this large body piece here. Mm -hmm. See that there? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually fold that piece right in half. And now we can cut that sort of V-shaped slot. We can cut it so much easier. Look at that. Super cool. All right, let's get to cutting out the rest of these pieces. Now, I know, I know, it's not everyone can move this fast. Kristen's really moving fast, but that's because she's sped up. So take your time, get everything just right. We're going to make our very own cool pop-up monster, and we want to make sure that all those pieces are cut just right. All right, now there's this other piece that you're going to see. There are these other folded pieces. There's, there's another little cut there. And what we're going to do is she's going to fold it in half again. Here it is. See that little U-shaped area? That way she can get in there. See, you can fold the piece of paper just to get in there. Now she's to finish that cut, she's going to go inside there with her little scissors. And she's going to cut on both sides. Now that we've cut out all the pieces, what we're going to do is pre-fold all of the pieces. And they're going to fold really easily because we, you know, we already scored everything, right? So now all those folds along all those dotted lines are going to be folded just perfectly. This is going to be the body of our monster right here in the head. Hmm, I wonder what kind of monster we're going to make. I don't know. Well, you know, there's all kinds of monsters in Halloween. Um, a skeleton, we could make a werewolf, we could make a, a, a witch, we could make, um, hmm, what else? Ooh, a demon, oh, all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna fold this piece just like that. Sometimes when you were making these pop-ups, ugh, you know, like, oh, there's so many steps. Why do we have to do all these steps? Well, it's important to do the steps because we want to make sure that all of these pieces work correctly, right? Um, sometimes it's not easy. So like when I'm making a pop-up book, oh, if you only knew. Sometimes it is so hard and I get so frustrated. So don't feel bad if you, you know, make a little mistake here and there along the way. It's okay. Because trust me, I made many mistakes just trying to create this pop-up for you along the way. So hopefully I made all the mistakes first and you can just, you know, have fun making this. And if you make a little mistake here and there, it's not going to hurt you. You just... Go back and fix it. It's no big deal. Nothing is ever perfect, right? So now she's continuing to fold all these pieces. So just follow along with what she's doing. She's folding all of them. And it's kind of pre, you know, like I said, pre-folding the pieces. And when she's all finished, she's going to pull out her craft glue. You can use any type of um, craft glue. Um, you can use, if you'd like, a... Um, a glue stick. I'm not a big fan of those because I don't think that they stick as well, but it depends on, you know, which brand you use. But now what now you're going to see on the base page, there are these little gray areas. See those little gray areas? And they they actually match. And so let's put inside those gray spaces where that tab fits. Let's put a little glue in that space. Don't overdo it. Don't. You don't want glue everywhere. All right, so we press this piece into place, right? Those two tabs, 
and it should go pretty flat, and you're going to see the center fold of that piece aligns with the center fold of the base page. Now, let's put this, this is the body piece with the legs, and you're going to see that it has little tabs for the feet that go on the base page that fit in. And now, look at this, this, this V-shaped slot here. It's going to actually fit under, see how that goes? See, it goes under that little hump on the first piece that we glued down. See that? See how that is? Now we're going to make sure that when we glue this piece down and when we put it in place, that its center line of the base page is lined up with the center of this large piece with the little V slot. So first we're going to start with the feet. We're going to glue them down. See those little gray spots? They match exactly with the tabs on the little feet for that spot. So we're going to line it up. See they go, they're going to fold over just right there. We're going to do one side there and one side there. Just like that. See how that center fold lines up with the center fold of all the pieces and the base page? I'm going to press it down, make sure it's flat. That's awesome. And see how the hump kind of sticks through that V shaped slot? Cool. Next, look at these little tabs back here. See those? We're going to glue those to the back of that, that the head slash, I don't know whether it's that shoulder, but just the body lump. <laughs> We, want, we don't want a lot of body lumps. Well, you want some good body lumps, I guess. All right, let's glue just right there on those tabs. See how they fit just right under the head? Then we're just going to press it down. And that's going to attach that piece underneath it better to underneath the head. And that will make our pop-up move better. Let it press it down. Make sure it's nice and flat. And let it dry for a minute. Next, let's put these arms on, and we're going to see that that fits there and that fits there. See how those two pieces fit just in place? What are we going to use? Some glue. Let's glue in just in that sort of shape right there. See how she did that? Just like that. Then we just put, it, it fits. See how, the, see how it just fits right in there? Right like that. Perfect. Let's do the other side. Now you're going to see that this monster, it's kind of a blob, right? Now let's do this other arm and it fits right on there. Just like that. Anyways, this monster is kind of a blob. You can see the lower jaw and you can see the legs and you see the arms, right? Now let's see, this is how it should work. Open and close it there. Ah, look at that. That's how it should work. So if yours is sticking in a certain way, push it out. Make sure that, it, that the... Um, the piece, see what, look at that, that's how it should move, that's how it should open. If yours is stuck flat, put your hand underneath the head and push it upward so that it moves like this. All right, it's decorating time. Ooh, let's make some monsters. So we're going to fill that space with some different kind of monsters. Let's see. Let's start with a Frankenstein. Yeah, he's classic, classic Halloween monster. And you can use markers, crayons, colored pencils. You could use cut paper on your pop-up if you want to. Um, you could use glitter. You could use all kinds of other effects. It's a... Frankenstein. Frankie's really cool. He looks like that pretty cool. Look at his mouth even opens and closes. You could even put a tongue and more teeth inside there or something down his throat. Ooh. Let's make another monster. Hmm, what can we make? Uh, ooh, ooh, howl at the moon there. Let's make a werewolf. Look at that. So she's just, you know, decorating it and filling in all those blobs with, with color or shapes. And these are kind of cute monsters. I kind of like them. But they still are a little spooky. Ah, there's our werewolf. He looks really, he looks like, oh, he's howling at the moon there. You know, Halloween can be fun. Um, so let's see, we got that. Oh, what else can we, what's that another good? Well, you know, I always love my skeletons on Halloween. So let's make up a, a skeleton um, out of this monster pop. Ooh, oh, skeleton, look at that. Oh, and don't forget to decorate the front of the card. Look at this. Now this is the same pop-up, but they're all decorated differently. Oh man, what kind of monster are you going to make? What's extra spooky for Halloween? Um, be sure to share what you've made. And, um, and if you really like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more, let me know, you know, either in the comments or, or um, on my website or uh, Instagram or even on Facebook, what you'd like to see in the future. I hope you've enjoyed making this Make Your Own Monster Pop. And I will see you next time. This is Matthew Reinhardt. Enjoy Halloween and bye-bye.